So I started beekeeping this year and it's been an exciting journey. And one of the things that I'm required to do now is periodically apply oxalic treatment to the bees to help the varroa mites. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're already familiar with this process and how annoying it is to carry a, 20, a 12 volt battery with you every single time you want to um, vaporize the oxalic acid. Now they do have ones that, they do have vaporizers that support uh, a portable 20 volt tool battery, um, but the ones that I've seen online are like $400. And for me, it was just not worth to spend that much money because I only have two hives. And so the good news is that you can actually upgrade your existing vaporizer to support the all 20 volt batteries for just about 20 bucks. And I've just completed my first prototype and it's pretty ugly, but it works. So I'm going to go ahead and um, run with it and try it off for a few months and report back on some progress. But I wanted to show you guys what I've built. Now, I do have to warn you, it's pretty ugly, but as we say in software engineering, if you're shipping your first MVP and you're not at least a little bit ashamed of it, then you're shipping it too late. So, without further ado, this is the contraption that I have built. Over here, we have the rod that came with the vaporizer. You can get these at Amazon for about 20 bucks. And over here, we have uh, a slot for the wall battery. This steps the voltage down to... Uh, 12 volts from 20 volts um, and then there's just a simple switch that I can use to turn it on and off um, and this displays the voltage um, that is coming off the battery and from the converter so I can take a DeWalt battery I can plug it in um, and it's reporting that the voltage is 12.2 uh, volts which is kind of what I would expect um, it's now the system is still not on um, I can flip the switch on and now the voltage drops and now this rod is heating up. So it's a pretty simple build. Um, if you want to build one of these yourself, um, I'll put a link to uh, this converter down in the description. Um, and of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ping me. Um, I'm also going to put um, a quick field test recording after this and also show the the, the wiring diagram, which is also very simple. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, um, go ahead and just drop them down in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. So this is the wiring diagram. This is the battery adapter. That's this guy right here. It has two wires coming off it, one for positive and one for negative, red and black. It gets hooked up into this converter. So these two wires are connected. You can also see that there's a fuse over here. Um, then the black one goes directly to um, one of the lines on the vaporizer and it gets hooked into the voltmeter. And then the yellow one um, from the converter goes down over here into the switch. Um, and then the voltmeter also hooks into here as well. And then the other end goes in um, to the other line on the vaporizer. So pretty simple design. Again, the, volt, the voltmeter here is completely optional. You don't need that. And then uh, the switch is also completely optional. Uh, it's only there, um, you know, if, if you're fine with just plugging the battery on and having it start, you know, you can just ignore the switch. All right, so my, my firewood rack, let's go ahead and kick it off and see how long it takes. The voltage right now on the 12, on the 5 amp hour battery is about 12.2 with this device off. Now when I turn it on, it drops down to 11.8. It's going to start heating up. Look at it go. All right, so it's been about eight minutes and now it's finally finished. Um, it started vaporizing. It took about three minutes to start. Um, and then I have about five minutes to finish up. You can see the voltage is still 11.8 uh, and it goes back up to 12.3 when we're done. And so and that was about um, a quarter teaspoon of oxalic acid.